as you can see I have all kinds of videos on here I hope you like them find them informational enlightening and maybe entertaining please subscribe to my channel let me know what you think of these by giving me a thumbs up or a thumbs down thank you Made it to Golden Spike. I mean, uh, that, not that guy. He's not Golden Spike. <laughs> He's a Silver Spike. He's a Silver Spike. This is a Golden Spike. Visitor Center. Little monuments here and there. There comes a monument there. Oh, war out monument. Oh, well, that war out monument. We're about, what was that about? Eight miles off the highway? Yep. So we're going to go check it out on the uh, Hoagie Ride. I got a camera that works now. <laughs> Have you ever been here before? No, never. Oh, this is it. This is the place. I know. This is cool. Yeah. You need to buy a pass. We all got old people's passes. You're all, yeah, you're all you're taken care of. Old people patches. 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 What'd you get? Let me get a video of that. Yeah. yeah. Right. Not many people have golden spike uh, patches. That's for sure. <laughs> well, quite the place. We're gonna we're gonna look for stickers. I put stickers in my trunk lid. Oh, yeah. Everywhere I've been. Oh yeah, there's a sticker right there. I right, will be buying that. Here's my beautiful wife. We'll get a little closer to those. Looks like they're one of them's motors engine or whatever you would call that is running. See smoke poofing out. Interesting uh, little shop. Stopped and got my decal for my trunk lid. But we'll walk over there and look a little better. I don't think this is the original track. It's over here where the trains are sitting. So we continue. Walk over to the other side. Maybe we can get a better... Well, we got the sun right in our way. Oh, this was man-powered. Yeah, that's what happens when you get in front of a train. Well, Congress actually put the Disney person just more than his bag of things to do. Because at that time, he was working real hard on Disneyland. He started his own railroad on Disneyland. That's why they thought about this. Well, he's been around. Of. Popular spot.
Are you getting ready to fire these up and move them? One o'clock. Time is it? I don't even know. Well, I don't think it's. I think we got an hour or two before one o'clock, so we're not going to stick around. It is almost one o'clock, and this young man says he's going to fire this up and do wheelies. So we can't wait to see that. Look if we can see inside there. This is how you start one. Not quite electric start. <laughs> Building a little pressure, I guess. Hey, Jenna. I think she was going to lay on the track and be the d damsel in distress. <laughs> They're getting ready to fire them both of them. They're going to move yeah. them. We got here just the right time. Over these people behind. Getting video of him starting it. That's kind of interesting. The locomotives weigh 60 tons. Do you think they stop on a dime? No. For your safety, we're going to ask for your help. Up here at the last bike site, let the Jupiter, the Jupiter backing out to the end of the track and let it come forward and forth before you see it. Here's again, Simon. We're going to go over the 119 to do this demonstration. Up here at the last bike site, we ask you to stay behind the barrels. Further out, Kathy. Volunteer help me out behind those railroad ties. You go beyond her on those railroad ties. We ask you to stay behind the telegraph pole. The further out you go, the further back we need you to be. Now, parents, young children, very sensitive ears. Bells and whistles can disrupt them. Also, if you're up and about, a lot of kids watch a cartoon called Thomas the Engine. That's not Thomas. So please watch them carefully. Anybody have their pet out here? No pets? Okay. If, if you do, folks, the most calm, uh, laid-back dog will become a uh, holy terror. All right. I'm going to take the other side, and we'll get the steam demonstration of the way. I do invite you to listen to bells and whistles, folks. The bell is a warning to us, the public, to clear the track. The whistle is the engineer indicating what he's going to do with the locomotive. Are you ready, sir? High balls of Jupiter. <laughs> out for a moment folks uh, when it hits the end of the track he will blow his whistle one short whistle as he comes forward he'll blow the whistle two short go forward now as he approaches forward folks 
But for that telegraph pole, he will, there's that blowdown, kind of gives you an idea how far that steam would go out. Just before that, before that uh, telegraph pole, he will blow the whistle a three second blast, announcing that they're coming and stopping in the station that Kodak moment once again. All right, but you can see why we ask you to stand down. Now they can do that blowdown on either side of the locomotive. Do you know what the determining factor is? The wind. Yeah. You blow that way, it comes back, guess who gets to clean it off, right? Yep. So they always look, check the wind direction. Kathy, don't let him get any closer than, than that. Appreciate it. bell will continue to ring until the engineer announces that they're stopping here. Now, he announces that by blowing the whistle one short whistle, but if you have sensitive ears, you may want to cover them up. Especially, especially, yeah. thank you. Arriving on the other side, you'll see the fireball, the 19 has cleared the uh, last bike site, folks. I am going to transition over to the crossing. You're welcome to join us over there.
Excuse me, ma'am. Uh -huh. We have a few minutes before the steam demonstration and reenactment. This was an awesome place to stop, take a break, and see a piece of history. Unfortunately, we didn't have a lot of time to stay there and watch the reenactment of them driving the Golden Spike. But if you're ever in the neighborhood, I would definitely stop and spend an hour or two here. I know this little video is a little bit long, but I hope you enjoyed it.